Good morning. It's Wednesday, March 11th, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, The Woman Who Sinned, and our scripture is Gospel of John, chapter 8. Jesus returned to the Mount of Olives, but early the next morning, he was back again at the temple. A crowd soon gathered, and he sat down and taught them. As he was speaking, the teachers of religious law and the Pharisees brought a woman who had been caught in the act of adultery. They put her in front of the crowd. Teacher, they said to Jesus, this woman was caught in the act of adultery. The law of Moses says to stone her, what do you say? They were trying to trap him into saying something they could use against him, but Jesus stooped down and wrote in the dust with his finger. They kept demanding an answer, so he stood up again and said, All right, but let the one who has never sinned throw the first stone. Then he stooped down again and wrote in the dust. When the accusers heard this, they slipped away one by one, beginning with the oldest, until only Jesus was left in the middle of the crowd with the woman. Then Jesus stood up again and said to the woman, Where are your accusers? Didn't even one of them condemn you? No, Lord, she said. And Jesus said, Neither do I. Go and sin no more. Stoning was not frequently practiced in Jesus' day. Even though the law of Moses said it was a just punishment, it was hard to enforce because adultery was so common. It's like church discipline in our day. Lifestyles which would have caused weeping and gnashing of teeth just a decade or two ago are now openly practiced by leaders in public life and even some church people, all with little or no consequences or even a show of accountability. The crowd anticipated a real circus. Jesus had been saying some pretty radical things, and now the Pharisees were jumping on his case. This was like two NFL teams trash-talking their way through Super Bowl week. When the day for the big game, the stoning in this case, arrives before the crowd, the highly anticipated and exciting spectacle of stoning hangs in the balance. Hold on to your seats. Grab your popcorn and hot dogs, folks. We are in for a great show today. Imagine now the disappointment of the crowd as the quarterback of the Pharisee legal eagles simply lets the game ball drop to the ground, turns away from the field, forfeits the game. He slinks away, head down and red face. It's like seeing the heavyweight boxing champion cower in fear when Granny Clampett enters the ring. What a disappointment. The crowd wanted blood. They got nothing. However, the real disappointment had to be Yahweh's, the Father in Heaven. God above sees the bloodlust of His people, His chosen people, and He can only shake His head in sadness. This is why judging is not in our hands. We don't have sufficient wisdom to understand what judgment is supposed to accomplish. So when you're part of the crowd and judgment is being passed around, think twice about whether you want to participate. The Pharisees had a perfectly legal case. They just didn't have the moral resume to be the prosecutors. For you today, in our polarized culture, it's a wise person who will refuse to quickly jump on either side of highly emotional issues. Rather, attempt to get high up on the balcony to get a better view of the bigger picture. That's where your Heavenly Father sees things. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.